Welcome to another tech video at FiTech. My name is Jeremy. Today we're going to cover how to connect our EFI systems to Autometer's ICANN Sport Comp 2 gauges. Currently there are three Autometer ICANN gauges for FiTech. The speedometer, a tachometer, and a water temp gauge. They all have the simple ICANN connection and they're all compatible with all of our FiTech systems. If you're interested in upgrading to Autometer ICANN gauges, you will need to make sure your system is compatible with CAN bus and also order FiTech's 62016 CAN bus breakout harness. The CAN bus harness has a breakout from the CAN wires on your FiTech system and has these CAN high and CAN low wires that will connect to the CAN high and CAN low wires of your autometer gauge. The FiTech systems are broadcasting new data continually on the CAN bus, which is these two wires. The autometer ICANN gauges are looking for specific data on the CAN bus and will only read what they need from the CAN bus. So there is no need for any kind of special programming to say this is programmed to an ICANN gauge. The ICANN gauge will automatically pull its own correct data from the stream. For example, the autometer speedometer will read only the speed signal that's on the CAN bus. It'll ignore all the other data. The autometer tachometer will be looking for the RPM signal, and the autometer water temperature gauge will only look for the water temperature signal that's on the CAN bus. They'll ignore all the other data. There's no need to specially program anything to mutually talk to each other. It just listens and talks. The beauty of the CAN bus system and the ICANN gauges is that the same two wires can be spliced into all compatible ICANN gauges and it's just as simple as that. There's really no other sensors needed, there's no extra wiring needed, it's just a splice and a gauge. The CAN bus breakout harness still allows your handheld to work normally. It simply intercepts the signal between the handheld connector and your ECU. One cool feature of the ICANN gauges is the background lighting is dimmable through the FiTech handheld. It's in the initial setup and the CAN setup. There's a brightness function that you can change from zero to 100% brightness. If you're interested in upgrading to an autometer ICANN gauge system, check with tech support to see if your system is CAN capable or CAN enabled already. Autometer ICANN gauges come with a sub harness that has four wires. Two wires are for CAN, another two wires are for key and ground. The key and ground signals will turn the gauge on, and once it starts receiving a signal on the CAN wires, the autometer gauge will activate and you'll see the dial start to work in conjunction with the signals. So as you can see, it's very simple to connect Phytech's CAN bus system to Autometer's ICANN gauges. You can buy these gauges and this sub-harness from phytechefi.com or the gauges in SportComp2 and other SportComp2 gauges from autometer.com. Thanks for joining us on this tech video at Phytech. We're gonna be switching to a monthly format for 2022. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or contact our tech support. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you catch all of the tech videos that are coming out of FiTech.